Hey, it's a good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick video on the Chicago Cubs. I'm getting their hands on Wade Miley and how that's one of the more overlooked moves of the offseason. In his career, Miley has a 415 ERA at 97 and 92 with a 16.6 career war. He's been a reliable innings eater when healthy and a guy that just does it well from the left side. And obviously, you're always looking for productive lefties. He was very productive last year in Cincinnati. Also threw a no-hitter in Cincinnati, 12-7, uh, 337 uh, ERA and a 353 runs allowed per nine. And then he was also very good in 2019 with Houston as well with a 398, a little bit higher than you would want runs allowed per nine at 446. But Miley is a pitcher that's obviously a location artist, uses his off speed breaking ball well, uh, gets solid ground balls when he's sharp as well. He's a guy that locates the plate and really mixes it from side to side more than Northwest. But he's a guy that definitely is one of those similarly to like how the A's were able to develop a Cole Irving last year, like one of those guys that just locates his pitches before, or like a Patrick, a poor man's Patrick Corbin, those guys that just locate their pitches. They're not going to blow them past you, but they're getting strikeouts because of their movement and their ability to just pick the right spot and pick the weak spots and just be very intuitive in the game of knowing where the weak zone is of those hitters, kind of like how you have the MLB weak zone um, in MLB The Show. Miley's one of those guys because he's a location artist that he has to be able to focus in on that stuff because he can't just blow it right past you. Where this Cubs rotation, they are a retooling team, a team that is moving people in and moving other people out. Uh, but with this move of uh, adding Wade Miley as the first move in the offseason, and then of course I did a video that's going to be linked at the end of this on all the other moves like Stroman and etc. But you have Alberto Alonze. Um, as a young pitcher, you have Ray Miley, you have Alec Mills, who you can use out of the pen or starting rotation. Um, you also have Marcus Stroman now. And then um, you also have Viscon uh, Viscon yeah, Viscano, um, who is a pretty good pitcher, a young guy. that you see what he's able to do. But you have a good rotation with Stroman, Miley, Kyle Hendricks, especially. Got to throw him in there, one of the best ground ball artists, and Alberto Alonze. You have a four-deep rotation at least, and then whoever else can slide himself in there. Wade Miley's a very capable four-starter. You have Marcus Stroman and Kyle Hendricks at the top of that rotation. Alberto Alonze, wherever you slide him in. And then whoever else falls into place. Wade Miley gives this team a very good one through four. Now all the Cubs have to figure out is who falls into place at number five. And they have a very solid rotation. They blurred in Jan Gomes. Talked about that in my other video. Um, as well as Clint Frazier, who was mentioned in my other video, as well as Marcus Stroman. It's been an underrated and overlooked offseason for a Chicago Cubs team because they're letting go of a lot of popular people, like, of course, Anthony Rizzo. Um, but you have Patrick Wisdom, who came up, Frank Schwindel, who was popular, that Nick Mandrigal is coming back. You have some talent in this Cubs organization. Maybe they could be a surprise team. Who knows? Because it's all about if you build around the pitching, you can win those low-scoring games as long as you can pitch out of those low-scoring games. And they're definitely building a good rotation this far, and picking up Wade Miley is a good overlooked move this far. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And if you enjoy the content, a special thanks to those of you that have subscribed this far. Really love and appreciate you for it. Continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget go cubs go congratulations on a solid offseason pre-lockout peace out everybody